Uh, now let us see uh, and cover major differences between the new UL61800-5-1 and UL508C, which was withdrawn and obsolete last year. Uh, there are plenty of uh, differences between these two standards, but today uh, I'm gonna show you just the major differences which makes the low voltage drive uh, using 61800-5-1 more safer and more robust. So the, the first major difference is the, the 508C, which was withdrawn and obsolete last year, was actually an old standard for the, for the uh, low voltage drives, and it's replaced with 61800-5-1. Therefore, currently, there is only one UL standard available for the safety certification of the low voltage drive, that is 61800-5-1. Also, since UL508C was scheduled to be withdrawn, it was not uh, kept up to date with the uh, new requirements or new technology requirements related to the uh, enhanced level of product safety. Moreover, after the withdrawal of UL508C last year, UL uh, started a process of replacing the references to old and withdrawn 508C in all their active standards and documents. There are about 80 UL standards, active standards, where 508C was referenced, and UL has uh, started replacing those references with the new UL61800-5-1 in all those standards, which include the standard for industrial control panel, for example, which is UL508A, uh, standard for motor control centers or MCC, which is 845, for heating and cooling equipment, which is 1995, and others. Here is the wavelink, uh, which is showing the UL notices to the manufacturers about this uh, uh, withdrawal of the references. Moreover, following the publication of UL61800-5-1, Contrary to this new UL61800-5-1, 508C, UL508C has not been maintained to uh, continuously uh, changing National Electrical Code requirement. It has not been kept up to date unlike uh, the new standard. Uh, and therefore, any drive design that has been uh, created after the publication of 61800-5-1 using the old UL508C standard, then those drive uh, may exhibit and pose a significant gap in terms of the product safety. Uh, and they won't meet the enhanced level of the safety that the drive certified according to UL61800-5-1 provides to the users, because that has been capped up to date with changing requirements of National Electric Corps. Uh, moreover, as I mentioned earlier, 61800-5-1 has uh, or contains the most stringent construction and performance or testing requirements as compared to the drive certified according to UL508C. Uh, one of the construction requirements, for example, is the new requirement for clearance and creepage distances or spacings within the drive. Because of this new addition of the requirement in uh, a new standard 61800-5-1, any existing drives which are certified according to 508C will require a major overhaul of the design. It completely requires a complete redesign of that drive in order to comply with this new clearance and creepage distance requirement of this new standard. Uh, also, similar to this construction requirement, there are more demanding uh, performance or testing requirements that have been added into this new standard in order to improve the uh, uh, product safety of the low voltage adjustable speed drive uh, in this new standard. For example, the short circuit test, uh, according to this new standard 61800-5-1, now requires to be performed at the standard fault current level, that is 5 or 10 kiloamps, as well as at the high fault current levels, that is 65 or 100,000 amps or 100 kiloamps, whichever the drive manufacturer would like to assign to the drive. Uh, on all output terminals, which also includes the DC terminals in addition to the AC output terminals where motor connections are made. Uh, most of the general purpose drives have these DC terminals, uh, which are used for applications such as DC coupling or for braking. However, according to the old UL508C standard, these DC terminals were not required to be short circuit tested. However, based on this new requirement in 61800-5-1, now they, those are. Which means more number of destructive tests are to be performed 
on a greater number of taste samples according to this uh, new short circuit requirement in the new standard. Similar to this short circuit test, uh, the breakdown of component taste or BOC tastes are also performed at the standard fault current level, 5 or 10 kiloamps, as well as at the high fault current levels, that is 65 or 100 kiloamps, according to this new standard, dash 5 dash 1. For those of you who don't know what the breakdown of component taste, it is the taste in which the identification of the component is done within the drive, which pose a risk of shock or fire when they fail, uh, which means either short or open. The components such as uh, DC bus capacitors, IGBT, MOSFET, or diode, these are uh, few examples of the components which can, uh, uh, if fails, pose a heavy risk of uh, electrical shock or fire. And once the identification of this component is done, then the uh, component breakdown is simulated in the in, in sense it's mimicked or it's reproduced in the lab when the drive is running at the full load conditions mostly. And the short is introduced with available short circuit current first at standard fault current level and then at high fault current level, which is 65 or 100 kiloamps. So naturally, the number of tests which are being performed under this new standard are much higher level, much more. And, and therefore, more larger or greater number of test samples are required uh, as compared to the drive certified according to 508C. As a matter of fact, the breakdown of component taste in under 508C uh, was required to be performed only at the available plant short circuit level, which was not even a standard fault level, which was either 5 kiloamps or below 5 kiloamps, that is 2000 amps or 3000 amps level, which means it was very easy to, for the drive to pass the test or breakdown of component test under old withdrawn standard 508C. Although the same drive actually pose more risk uh, or create a damaging effect in reality when the available short circuit currents are higher than the, the value the, the drive was tested for. Which means the components within the drive are subjected to a more stress uh, according to this new UL standard 61800-5-1 as compared to the tests which were carried out on, uh, based on UL 508C. And, and overall, the 61800-5-1, since it requires a greater number of more rigorous destructive tests on a greater number of test samples, it represents a real-world drive operation and application conditions in comparison with the obsolete and withdrawn UL 508C which is to ensure the enhanced level of product safety uh, in nutshell uh, in not only the normal operating condition of the drive but also the abnormal operating condition as well as the fault condition of the drive. It should not pose any kind of risk uh, considering the real world application situation. Therefore, the drive which is really inherently having the robust design and reliable components only can pass such kind of a test. So overall, the drive uh, under UL 61800-5-1 ensures more safer and more robust product compared to the drives which are certified according to UL 508C. Here are the wavelengths of the UL webinar recording which shows these differences in great detail. Uh, I would really encourage you to go through this webinar recording to find out more information on the major differences between these two standards. This table uh, again summarizes the major differences in terms of construction or design requirement of uh, the drive between the two standards, the new UL 61800-5-1 as well as the old UL 508C. As you can see, in addition to the clearance and creepage distance requirement, there are more requirements in terms of design that the drive needs to comply with which are more demanding in the new standard 61800-5-1 as compared to the old UL uh, 508C. The important ones are, for example, the multi-motor control application to control the multiple motor using single drive, across the line capacitor, which is for the AC filter capacitor or a DC bus capacitor, uh, plenum rating requirements, and new revised uh, motor overload and over temperature protection requirements. All these differences here on the screen, which shows that all these requirements have been added newly into this new standard 61800-5-1, which were absent, which were not present in the old UL 508C, 
which again shows that the drives certified according to this new standard, uh, design and certified according to this new standard, uh, have a higher level of product safety. For example, the plenum rating requirement according to this new uh, 61800-5-1 uh, requires the drive which are intended to be used in the uh, air handling spaces of the building, for example, in the HVAC applications. These drives are uh, required the uh, plenum rating, and this plenum rating uh, needs to be qualified by using the fire test method uh, by analyzing the fire uh, performance of the uh, enclosed drive. That means the drive is literally placed into the fire chamber and burnt, and its heat as well as smoke characteristic is measured and compared against the limit given in the UL standard 2043. What does it mean? It means that any drive which is existing UL 508C listed and has a plenum rating, if these drives are subjected to this kind of a testing, most of those drives will fail, which again proves that the higher level of uh, the, the, the safety, in order to achieve the higher level, level of safety, the more requirements in terms of design that needs to comply with uh, using the standard UL 61800-5-1. Here is the table which shows uh, the differences in the performance requirement between these two standards. Uh, as we have seen, uh, short circuit test requirements and breakdown of component uh, test uh, requirements uh, in quite detail just few slides back. There are more uh, testing requirements, there are performance requirements, those have been added into this new standard which were not there before under UL 508C. Uh, these are additional requirements uh, which will be added in the next edition of 61800-5-1. Again, those were not there under UL 508C. All these differences uh, in the design and testing or performance requirements once again show that the drives under the UL 61800-5-1 are more thoroughly tested, uh, more number of tests are performed on a greater number of test samples in order to ensure the higher level of product safety in all operating conditions, uh, abnormal as well as fault condition and normal operating conditions. And overall, to ensure the enhanced level of product safety compared to the drive certified according to old and withdrawn UL 508C. So this state of the art requirements of UL 61800-5-1 actually has pushed the product certified according to the obsolete and withdrawn 508C many years back in terms of technology application and product safety perspective. So uh, the additional technical information on the major differences between uh, these two documents, UL 61800-5-1 and uh, obsolete and withdrawn UL 508C can be found uh, from UL and NEMA website as well as uh, on a, from the Siemens white paper on 61800-5-1. The web links are shown at the bottom of this slide. I highly encourage you to go through these uh, documents, these website links, as well as uh, read the standard, both the standards to understand some serious differences between the uh, safety requirements of these two documents.